We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. A welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. How are you doing today, Jared? Having fun. We talked to uh, some conference realignment in the previous episode, which was um, a few minutes ago for us, but two days ago for anyone listening. Uh, but yeah, now now we're going to talk about, well, I guess, is this also conference realignment? <laughs> uh, it, it technically is, just because we're going to talk internally. <laughs> It's it's inner it's from one conference. conference alignment yeah. as opposed to inter conference alignment. Is that is that how we are gonna frame this? Sure, sure. <laughs> inner <laughs> versus inter. All right. Big, I could right, say so. I could say um, this is um, no. Never mind. I'm, I'm forgetting so just, my Latin. Let's move forward. So, so with the with the recent news of the uh, USC UCLA joining the Big Ten, and as well as previously to that, but the ACC doing away with divisions, which I fully support. As do I. So we're so we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have our own. We're gonna we're gonna make our own uh, divisionless Big Ten conference. And now, Kyle I think and we're gonna, I already I, we're, we're gonna we're gonna follow suit similar to like what the ACC did, and that they have uh, a collective of games that are protected that they that certain teams will play every year, and then the rest the rest of the teams will just rotate every every year or two years, however they want to do that. Yeah, um, I had a conversation with Kyle, very brief. Uh, where I said, do we want to do this as pods or do we want to do this as protected games? Because I think I think pods is also viable. I think, and if you don't know, a pod is just where you take three, maybe four teams, and they're not playing like for a division or pod title or anything like that. It's just that those group of teams will always play each other every year. So it's basically like you could be in a pod with Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, and Ohio State. And that's your pod. Those those four teams will always play the other three teams every year. And that's the pod system. Uh, but as Kyle said, the ACC has implemented just a protected rival, a, a select game model. So I, I asked Kyle, which one do you want to do? Uh, because it affected how I was going to do the, the the graphic portion of this. And he says, let's just do, let's follow the ACC and let's do protected games. Okay, Kyle, let's do some protected games. Um, let me switch screens. All right, we have switched screens. Oh boy, I hope that's, I hope that's readable. That might not be super readable. Now that I'm looking at it on my screen. Um, <laughs> I hope that helps. Okay. The, <laughs> I just made it bold. When in doubt, make it bold. Um, do, do, do. Maybe I can also adjust this. Ah, that'll help. All right. That should be more readable. All right. There we go. Kind of messes up how this looks, but screw it. We're moving forward. Um, so Ohio State, for example, um, is going to play Michigan every year. That is your protected rival. Um, mm -hmm. and then I need to also do that for Michigan. Uh, Michigan state has a rivalry with Michigan state. Michigan has a rivalry with Michigan state. I think I said that right the first time. Um, so we will darken that one in as well. Um, we all know that Penn state and Maryland are the most bitter of rivals. So we will go ahead and, and mark that. Let's 
Let's see. Kyle, do we give a fuck about the yellow buck? To be honest, does anyone no. care? Nope. I, I think um uh I think somebody said it in our chat before we hit the record, hit the record buck um button here up. Uh, Zach. Buckeye Zach said LA Buck should be a five year trophy game anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm not worried about it. Okay. Um Nebraska. I know that Nebraska and Iowa do not like each other very much. Sure. Nebraska sure, we'll that. and Iowa. On the side as well. Iowa meets Nebraska. There you go. All right. Headed out in the desert conference. How dare you? They are proud members of this conference. Okay, Kyle, let's uh let's be a little with, less chaotic with, about with, this. With, with hold on, hold on. With, with with the newly added teams, I think those are rivals, USC and UCLA. Yes. Absolutely. Um that's a good call. And, and, and can and, and can we now, Jared, now that they are with the uh with the Big Ten? Uh, you did that backwards, by the way. Because you have USC versus USC, UCLA versus UCLA. <laughs> Listen. It's all fun. Now, now that, the, now, now that USC and UCLA are with the Big Ten, yeah. can, 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 we, can we get Ohio State and Michigan to also do... Um, <laughs> Colors? Color on color. Uh, I feel like that makes it less likely, but it still should happen, goddammit. It should. I'll, no, every single rivalry here, every single rivalry should be color on color. When maybe possible. Won't. Maybe that won't work. <laughs> when possible. <laughs> uh, Maryland and Rutgers, we know, are bitter, bitter rivals. Right? Uh, That's a thing? There you go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, yes. Uh, anybody else in the chat? Who? who anyone that we're leaving off that um, makes sense right now that are bitter rivals? We're the most bitter of rivals in the Big Ten. Uh, should we do Michigan and Minnesota? The Paul Bunyan? <laughs> That's the Paul Bunyan, right? The yeah, Scarlet yeah, I mean, Turtle game. I mean, I mean, here, here we already here did Michigan State. Be, yeah, before before you say, before you say yes to Minnesota, how, how many game? How many? protective games are we having three. three okay i mean we can do whatever we want uh if we were following the acc the acc did three um mm -hmm. so if we're using that as a model that's the model okay so so teams here so i, I see two teams left for for um michigan to be One rivals team. Michigan is already partnered up with Ohio State and Michigan State. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, I mean, there's two teams in mind for the last one. There's two teams. Okay. For the third one. I mean, you you have Minnesota here and, and Penn State. Are they really rivals or are they just like teams that play in? They're, they're just two of the better teams who currently play in the current division. Man, I, I don't know. That's. I think Minnesota's well, the better let, play here. All right, let, let's just mark it for now, but we have a feeling we may go back to that. Let's go to Ohio State real quick. So obviously Michigan, but who 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 else do you have as rival? Do do you want to? Dare I say? Do you want do you want Ohio State and USC to be a rival? That'd be fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> Because you, you have to now take in consideration that USC and UCLA need to come up with two more rivalry games, too. Why, Absolutely. why not Ohio State? Why not Ohio State and USC? Why not? I mean, okay, so we, we also need to look at this from other teams' perspectives. 
Um, for example, like Ohio State doesn't give a shit about Penn State, but we know that Penn State really hates Ohio State. So maybe from Penn State's perspective, that should be a protected game. So, so why don't we do that then? Do Michigan, Penn State, and USC. No, Ohio State and Penn State. Yeah, Ohio State rivalries or protective games. Let's do protective games as Michigan, Penn State, and USC. That's, that's, my, that's, that's my... That's a big swing. I was kind of thinking Nebraska, but man, USC is a nice big swing. Uh, fuck it. I fuck let's it. Just, let's just do that for now. <laughs> That's fun. Right. It's a fun idea. All right. So we did Michigan, Michigan state. <clears throat> who, do, who does Michigan state play? Do we look at the trophy games? There's a million trophy games in the, in the big 10. Um, I feel like they have a, I feel like they have some trophy games. I can't keep track of all of them personally. This, List of Big Ten Conference rivalry games. So if I can do, apparently Michigan State and Penn State is the Land Grant Trophy. Michigan State and Penn State. Uh, we do need a third. We do need a third Penn State. Um, yeah, let's let's throw that one in there. Penn State, Michigan State. That's yeah. That's the only rival or the only rivalry trophy trophy game that that they play that they play other than Big Brother Little Brother game. Is there a trophy on the line for that one? Yeah, the Paul Bunyan. That's the Paul Bunyan. That is. The I can't Paul keep Bun them all straight. There's too many fucking Michi trophies Michigan in the Big Ten. Michigan and Minnesota is the Little Brown Jug. I can't. I, I I can't keep them straight, Kyle. I cannot keep them straight. There's too. <laughs> there's too many. All right. So All right. Ohio State's done. Michigan's done. Penn Michigan State's State done. needs one. All right. Michigan State needs one more. I mean. I mean, we can skip it. We can skip it for now because I know there's going to be other teams that's going to be or may struggle trying to find rivalry games for. <laughs> or protective right. games, excuse me. Indiana. Indiana. We haven't put anything for Indiana yet. According to this, according to the Big Ten here, Indiana has two rivalry games. Okay. <laughs> oh, I missed this one for Michigan State. <laughs> Indiana Michigan State has the old brass splatoon, and Indiana Purdue is the old oaken bucket. So Indiana and Purdue make a lot of sense. They're both uh indiana teams yeah so, yeah no, yeah do do indiana purdue that that yeah do that one a ton I'm, of sense so we're yeah, doing that are, one yeah those are the only two that i see here so um sorry and you, and you said michigan state Yeah. Yep. All right. So that finishes Michigan State. Um, yeah, that finishes Mich Michigan State. Okay. And then do, in, yep, Indiana's. So then Indiana would need to come up with a third one. So maybe, maybe you could put in a Illinois, Indiana, Illinois rivalry, next door neighbor rivalries, maybe. Maybe we, we don't have to fill it in right now. We can come back to it. Okay. All right. Rutgers. Uh, Maryland, obviously. Maryland. <laughs> Heated rivals with Maryland that dates back centuries. I don't know. <laughs> Who else I mean, Penn State, that obviously. That's that little, that's that East Coast trifecta right there, right? Yeah. Uh, let's yeah, I, I, let's skip. All right, let's let's skip. Uh, uh, Maryland, we already have Rutgers and Penn State. 
Um, I, I don't know what else to do there. Let's skip it for now. Wisconsin. All right, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's right, got some trophy games. Let's pull up Wisconsin. All right. Uh, Wisconsin has Wisconsin and Minnesota for the Paul Bunyan's Axe. That's the... Uh, oh, Minnesota does play for a Paul Bunyan. Yeah, you got the Paul Bunyan trophy, and then you have Paul Bunyan's axe, which I think is yes. is a better trophy than just Paul Bunyan himself. <laughs> I agree. It is a vastly also, superior trophy. Also on also on here is Wisconsin Nebraska for the Freedom Trophy. Uh, that definitely doesn't sound like a late edition add on. And uh, <laughs> first year that they played for that was in 1901, but they've only had 12 meetings. <laughs> okay uh, well let's fix that or, 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 by or, or, adding or, or, wisconsin or, 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 and nebraska hold on, hold, on, hold on if you want to add one where they met 92 times the the heartland trophy wisconsin and iowa you can also do that one so uh nebraska and nope i, I missed um Nebraska and Wisconsin. Yep. And then let me get Nebraska and, and Wisconsin. There you go. And then Iowa and Wisconsin. And then we do Iowa and Wisconsin. There you go. So that's that's three. That's all three for Wisconsin there. That was easy. I knew I knew that one was going to be easy. All right. Iowa here has Minnesota, Nebraska, and Wisconsin. The Floyd of Rosedale, Heroes Trophy, and the Heartland Trophy. Is Minnesota full? No. Minnesota still has one. Uh, we'll give it to Iowa. Minnesota. This is going well. This is this is this is filling out. This is filling out. I like this so far. All right, uh, um, Northwestern, Northwestern, Jared. Um, so did you have another trophy game for Iowa? Or no, that was that was three. Right? Uh, Minnesota, Nebraska, Wisconsin. There you go. Okay. You're good. You're good. Uh, Northwestern, Northwestern has we should one... be paired up with Notre Dame. If when Notre Dame joins, I'll say that that battle of Chicago. Yeah. So there's two here. Um, speaking of Chicago, it makes sense. Northwestern and Illinois. Absolutely. That land of Lincoln trophy. That's a fitting name. <laughs> that's to, that's uh, actually legitimately not cringeworthy. Like a lot of these are. Uh, the other one, which we can't do because there's already Michigan already has three teams already, but Michigan and Northwestern has the George Jewett trophy. Never heard of that before in my life. Yep. Um, yep. And I, I like Michigan's other ones a lot yes. better. Correct. Yep. So that's one for Northwestern. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe, maybe, All hold, right. Hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. What about Northwestern and UCLA? I like it. Northwestern and UCLA. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> We're going to, this is guys, they're bitter rivals, bitter, bitter rivals. Don't, don't underestimate in, all of the, the blood the, that has been shed the, between UCLA and Northwestern. Okay. <laughs> don't disrespect. Kind of Do not on the, this is our 4th of July. All right. <laughs> Don't you disrespect those who have shed their blood in the rivalry between Northwestern and UCLA. And what, what about uh, Maryland or Rutgers? <laughs> We're currently uh, sitting Maryland. at one for Rutgers. Is this, I feel like this makes Maryland, sense, right? It, Maryland has, we have Penn State already. Um, I have no others for Maryland and Rutgers has zero on here. So, no. <laughs> so Northwestern and Rutgers, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do, do you, do you want to, do you want to be mean and be like UCLA and Rutgers? <laughs> the two that are on complete opposite coasts. <laughs> that we've not ruled that out as a possibility yet. 
but let's see how things play out. <laughs> Northwestern and Rutgers. Uh, Rutgers and Western. Northwestern, there you go. All right, that's that's one less for Rutgers. That or <laughs> one, yep, one more we had we would need to find. So Minnesota's already done. Um, Illinois, uh, we, Illinois already got turned down by Ohio State. Uh, so how Hill many? Does, how many does? How many does Purdue have? They just have Indiana, right? So far. Okay, so there is Illinois and Purdue for the Purdue canon. Illinois and sure. Purdue? Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> okay, Zach. Rutgers wins the Big Ten five years in a row starting in 2022. <laughs> the Rutgers versus USC rivalry. The Scarlet Trojan horse game. <laughs> Scarlet Trojan horse. I feel like that has one too many words in it. Take your time, roll it around in your head. I think revision two will be fantastic. <laughs> All right. So looking at the list here, Jerry, looking at the list here, Illinois needs one more. Purdue needs one more. USC and UCLA need one more. And uh, Rutgers and Maryland. Like Nebraska need needs one more. Uh, yep, Nebraska does. Yes. So Nebraska, Why does Nebraska uh, and UCLA make a lot of sense to me in my head? Or just Nebraska? Yeah. Nebraska needs. Yeah. Um, Nebraska only needs one more. So yeah. I, I feel like sending Nebraska out west makes a lot of sense. Um, which team do you think is better for Nebraska, USC or UCLA? I think USC. I, I think I do. so. I think so. It... Nebraska, USC. Done. All right. <laughs> the so, worst Nebraska... of the West. <laughs> no, that would have been if we picked them up with UCLA or Stanford eventually, which I think, that, why does that make sense in my head? Nebraska and Stanford. So, so, UC, so UCLA, we have, we have Northwestern and USC. Who would be who would be the third one? So we have Purdue. Well, for we, my own sanity. Um, yeah, I was going to say, please, yeah, just like color coordinate those or something, so we can tell which ones we are done. Maryland versus done. USC, or well, USC. We 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 have three for USC already. You mean uh, UCLA, Maryland, and UCLA? Man, that's so Indiana is not done, Rutgers is not done, Maryland's not done, Wisconsin and Iowa. I think I think these next ones, yeah, Iowa's done. They have so many trophy Mint. games out west that just the, those yeah. the some of these western teams just finished themselves. And we appreciate yeah, it. Is done. And Nebraska's done. All right, so we got three, six teams left. We got six, yeah, teams. six teams that we need to match up here. We got Why does teams, UCLA so. and Purdue make sense in my head? I was thinking UCLA and Illinois. I mean, I was going to ask that? why, but it's not like Purdue and UCLA <laughs> makes a lot more sense. Like, I was going to ask you to justify yours, but. I, I, I like I like Illinois and UCLA better than Purdue and UCLA. I, sure. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how you came to that conclusion, but I also don't know how to argue against it. So sure. And then. The final pairing here, then, Jared. That's done I would... for UCLA. UCLA is completed. So the final pairing, I would just put Indiana Rutgers, 
and then Maryland and Illinois. I, um, I have no, I have no rhyme or reason. It's just the first thing that came to my head. Well, except that Maryland only. Kyle, are we in a mathematical conundrum right now? Because Maryland is not done either. We're in a mathematical conundrum. <laughs> we this is why we need Notre Dame <laughs> to break the mathematical stalemate that we find ourselves in all of a sudden. Kyle, why didn't we think about this first? We should have thought about this first. Uh, three does not divide evenly into 16. Uh, we, we, that's why we need 18 teams. Jared blaming Irish now. No, Jared's blaming math. Jared is blaming math. Yeah. It's not that I'm bad at math. I just didn't stop to consider the math. This is why we need 18 teams. Hey, because hey, 18 guys. divides into three. If, if you go back and listen, when I said, should we do three or four teams? <laughs> if four goes into 16, <laughs> but did you fight for it? Don't act like you knew. No, I didn't. I didn't fight for it. We're Kyle, we're already a half hour into this episode. Do you want to try and add a fourth team for everybody? <laughs> Maybe it'll speed run it. <laughs> yeah, Ohio State luck. gets Illinois. Sure. There. The turtle game's back. Turtle's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> All right. Who does Michigan get? Who does Michigan get here? Uh, didn't we leave a trophy on the table? Uh, there was a trophy that we said, too bad. Michigan's already spoke for. Uh, so Michigan State, Minnesota, Northwestern. There's the Northwestern game. Yeah, Michigan, right, so... gets themse- Michigan gets themselves. <laughs> well, they are their own worst enemies. Uh, yeah. So Michigan plays Northwestern. Okay. I almost, I almost want to give um, Rutgers to Michigan. <laughs> well, we're we're we're, we're speed running now, Kyle. We're speed yeah. running now. Yep. All right, Michigan State. Uh, Northwestern is done. Uh, so the one no, we we gave that one already. I'm looking at which ones Michigan State had. Um, gave them Indiana, uh, Penn State, Michigan. All right, so that's it. That's it as far as trophies for Michigan State here. Okay. Um, we already did Penn State and Michigan State. Um, Penn State is currently playing Ohio State, Michigan State, Maryland. Should we add Rutgers in there? Uh, the the only we can. The only other one is, there is a Penn State Minnesota game. They've only played fourteen times, but it's the Governor's Victory Bell. Fuck it. Penn State, Minnesota. Why does Minnesota have all of the trophies? That's a good question. How many how many freaking do they have? Minnesota has all of the trophies. All right. Uh, so that, that took a couple more off of off of the plate there. Penn State Indiana is done. And Indiana's Indiana's one we struggled with, right? So Indiana, uh, Michigan State. They they already play each other already. Damn it. <laughs> Indiana and uh Rutgers, I guess. Indiana and Rutgers. I probably match them up. Uh yeah, hold on. Indiana only has two. Uh, Rutgers only has two. Maryland only has two. I think this is a problem we can solve. <laughs> yep. So Indiana Rutgers. Indiana Rutgers. All right. Um, Indiana plays Rutgers and Maryland. Ah, uh, the suck of the East. <laughs> this is what we're calling this. Rutgers will play Maryland and also Indiana. Uh, see, they already play each other, though, so we're not totally solving this problem. Um, Maryland will play 
Indiana. So that's four teams for Indiana. So Indiana is done. I, I, I have a feeling Michigan State would probably be playing Rutgers or Maryland here. Sorry, uh, what did you just say? I feel like Sparty would be playing Rutgers or Maryland. Maybe. Do we want to send Sparty out west? The Spartans versus the Trojans, Kyle, make it happen. The Spartans or versus the yet. Trojans. We're, it's happening. I, I like it too much. Spart I like it too much. Spartans I, versus I was Trojans. Say Spartans, Spartans versus the um, the Bruins. I, I know that I know that football is king, but man. <laughs> this is a football schedule. This isn't a basketball I, schedule. I know. And I, I'm I'm too the, the history nerd in me is too excited about putting the Trojans versus the Spartans. All right. It's done. Uh, you so is Rutgers, not done. Yep, Rutgers plays Indiana, Maryland, and Northwestern. <clears throat> Rutgers and the Big Ten should be paying us right now. I'm just saying the Big Ten should be paying us money for doing this hard work for them. Because th this is golden. So, I'm going to email since, this since to you, Kevin Warren, since you have, although he probably has been blocked Michigan, at this point. Since you have Michigan State and U USC, might as well just have another fun one. Let's just do a coast-to-coast -coast rivalry of Rutgers and UCLA. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, and then we have <laughs> Maryland here. This this uh, one's just Maryland. stupid. This 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 is a shit post right here. <laughs> Maryland <laughs> nightly Golden Bears rivalry. Uh Maryland. Maryland would have has three of Penn State, Indiana, and Rutgers. I don't. Hmm. By the way, um, Purdue, Nebraska should just. Well, I don't know. Nebraska currently plays Wisconsin, Iowa and USC. Wisconsin and Iowa is still need filled. So I think Purdue well, on, and Nebraska. Hold on, hold on. Purdue. So Purdue needs two games here. Purdue needs two games. But OK, so Nebraska. Yep. Okay. We can do Purdue and Nebraska then. Yeah, so, that's that that is what a Bruin is. Yes, the Golden Bears. Yes. <laughs> New Jersey for California for the shittiest high taxes state rivalry. <laughs> All right, Purdue, Nebraska. So well, then... Hold on. I'm steal I'm stealing this idea from someone on Twitter. I don't remember who. But should Oregon join, Oregon and Rutgers needs to play for the golden gas pump. <laughs> if you don't know, those are two states in which you are not allowed. Which I think Oregon changed this recently. But you are not allowed to pump your own gas in Oregon and Nebraska. They you have to have a specialist to do it for you. I think right, I think they, Oregon recently changed right, that. Though. Last games here: Maryland, Wisconsin, Iowa, Purdue. Which one, which one should play each other here every year? Do we already have Wisconsin and Iowa playing each other? We do. Okay. So that means we need to send Wisconsin. Uh, let's see. Do we already have Purdue playing any of these teams? We do not. I say Purdue I, and Iowa, Maryland, and Wisconsin. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> I was thinking the opposite. Maryland, Iowa, and Wisconsin, Purdue. <laughs> what do you guys think in the chat? What do you guys think? We'll, we'll let you guys decide here for the last one. Should it be Maryland? Should it be um, Choo Choo, Choo, -choo Badger? Badger. <laughs> <laughs> so it cannot be... Was it? Wisconsin and Iowa already play each other, so we can't do that. 
So it's got to be Wisconsin versus Maryland or Wisconsin versus Purdue. Which one should Wisconsin play? A honey, honey badger, badger versus a turtle. Okay. All right. <laughs> Badgers versus turtles. All right, and that's our shitty post here, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this was like 90% good. All right. Um, and then up one, Wisconsin. right one for Maryland and Wisconsin. There you go. And then the last one, Iowa and Purdue. Let's just never share this post, Jared. <laughs> this well, I'm sharing this everywhere. I'm sending it to Kevin Warren. <laughs> this, this, this will be the schedule that is permanently put into place for all time until Notre Dame joins. And then until we have to throw point. it out and then, then we have to throw it out and do a new one. Then, <laughs> I wouldn't Purdue. Purdue and Iowa. All right, and that's it. That is our that is our um, protected games for the 2024 season, and maybe maybe as early as 2023, maybe yeah, maybe. Uh, Ohio maybe. State plays Michigan, Penn State, Illinois, and USC. Michigan plays Ohio State. Michigan State, Northwestern, and Minnesota. Michigan State plays Michigan, Penn State, Indiana, and USC. Uh, Penn State plays Ohio State, Michigan State, Maryland, and Minnesota. Indiana plays Rutgers, Maryland. Uh, Michigan State and Purdue. That's uninspired. Indiana fans will be pissed about that. That is uninspired. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, Rutgers is playing Indiana, Maryland, Northwestern for some reason, and UCLA for some reason. Um, I mean, that, that one's also pretty uninspired, if I'm being, if I'm being honest. Um, Maryland plays Penn State, Indiana, Rutgers, and Wisconsin. I like that one. That's a good haul for Maryland. I like that one. Wisconsin plays Maryland, Iowa, Minnesota, and Nebraska. I, I think that's a good lineup. I think that's I think we did good by Wisconsin on that one. Yeah. Iowa plays Wisconsin, Minnesota, Purdue, and Nebraska. Again, I think that's an excellent lineup. Uh, Northwestern plays Michigan, Rutgers, Illinois, and UCLA. And I, I think I think we did okay on that one. <laughs> Minnesota wrote itself because of all their fucking trophy games. Um, yes. So the Minnesota, Minnesota wrote this one. We just copied, we copied their homework on this one. Minnesota plays Michigan, Penn State, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Uh, Illinois plays Ohio State, Northwestern, Purdue, and UCLA. And I, I quite frankly like that a lot. Yeah, I, I like that one too. Uh, Purdue plays Indiana, Iowa, Illinois, and Nebraska. Um, that That's okay. That's not bad. Couldn't these protected rivals be considered pods? No, because a pod would consist of four teams who all play each other, and that's not at all what we've done here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, this is a, this isn't like the NFL where you have your divisions in your in your conference and you're playing those teams. Everybody plays everybody in that division. It's yeah. Um, Nebraska plays Wisconsin, Iowa, Purdue, and USC. I like that a lot. I the Purdue was just kind of think. I think Purdue is kind of a who uh, just kind of a throw, thrown in there. But Wisconsin, Iowa, and USC. I think that's a great lineup for Nebraska, and we we kind of had to throw Purdue in there. Um, USC is playing Ohio State, Michigan State, US. Uh, excuse me, um, Nebraska and UCLA. 
it's not I bad. I think that I, for 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 coming into a brand new conference, I think yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yep, I like it a lot. The, sh- the shittiest one is is the last one here, Jared. <laughs> what did we do to UCLA? Uh, Rutgers, Northwestern, Illinois, and USC. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, we gave oh, we USC did. fucking nothing. The only thing we gave USC is UCLA, who played down the street. <laughs> oh my god, we screwed over UCLA. Something. I mean, I tell you what, though, it's an easy schedule. It's not. An, it's not a schedule that's going to excite anybody. Um, but it, it should help them get some wins. You're welcome, <laughs> UCLA, for the wins. <laughs> uh, Trojan Buckeye memories for old farts in the 60s. Yeah, there were a, there's been a fair number of Rose Bowls between Ohio State and, and USC. I I I I like putting Ohio State and USC in a protected game just for the I I I, I don't know why. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. That's it. All right, that's Kyle, our, that's, that's our, our wasteland. That's our that's our uh, our um, shitty. Uh, <laughs> no, I like it. Protected. I, I like eighty percent of this. I think this is eighty five percent what it should be. I think this is. I challenge anyone so, to do better with these teams. So, so I challenge who, anyone who has, to do better with these teams. Who has the toughest schedule here? Um, probably Michigan. No. Um, Michigan has Northwestern and Minnesota. I mean, you could say Ohio State with Michigan, Penn State, and USC. Uh, yeah, but you also have Illinois sitting there. But yeah. USC, USC has Ohio State, Michigan State, Nebraska. Mm. Who, who does yeah. who does who does Illinois play? Ohio State, Northwestern, Purdue, UCLA. Okay, no. Mm, I think it's Ohio State, they, actually. Yeah, it might it might be. I mean, you got Michigan and USC. That's that right there is a. <laughs> and Penn State, I think there's there's honestly, there's honestly might be the best three teams in the Big Ten, well, not counting Ohio State. We obviously can't make Ohio Michigan, State play Ohio Michigan State. State. Michigan State right there. Mich- they play Michigan, Penn State, USC, and Indiana. That's also, I, that's actually, um, actually, no. Yeah, Michigan State and Ohio State practically have the same schedule. It's just you swap Indiana for Illinois, and Indiana's better than Illinois, I would say, most of the time, more often than not. So, yeah, I think, I think uh, Sparty has an exciting but challenging lineup of teams. Yeah. Sorry, Sparty. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Honestly, Buckeyes I'm surprised actually, that the team that has but, the toughest schedule isn't the team that's playing Ohio State. Uh, Buckeye Zach said, Ohio State team up north and Michigan State. Uh, yeah, Michigan with Ohio State, Michigan State... <laughs> But man, he, he had a Northwestern and Minnesota in there. Mm. Minnesota is pretty good. And Northwestern, yeah. it just sort of it depends upon the year you catch them. Every every Northwestern four or five is typically either rebuilding or pretty good. Uh they were rebuilding last year, and I think they'll continue to rebuild this year. But you know, they 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 aren't a team that's consistently good, but when they're good, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think, Kyle, I think that's, that's yeah, it. That's that, a, that's the episode. Hey, uh, All right. anybody else in, in the chat here got anything that you think of or uh, any any thoughts about it? I know there's kind of something something that we wanted to put together, especially with um AC, the ACC coming out. I wanted to do something about the protective games and how that would look like. Ohio basketball commit dropped 50 in the summer league today. That's what gangland says. Damn. Uh, maybe just a quick couple news items before we go. Um, 
Ohio State picked up a commit um, from Jermaine Matthews. Uh, not a surprise, I, I would say. We did have him in the mock earlier, or not earlier this week, but last week. We did a mock class last week. We had him in the class. Um, I expected his commitment to be imminent, and uh, that uh, played out. Um, oh, speaking of speaking of basketball, hold on. Um, we had Michigan. Uh, excuse me. Um, now, where was he committed to? Is it Texas Tech? Um, decommits and has committed with Ohio State. His name is Calvin Simpson Hunt. That's another corner for Ohio State. So Ohio State addressing the cornerback position. Um, not someone I had in my in my mock. Oops. <laughs> um, I didn't have a whole lot of guys who were already committed in my mock, so I may have uh, just missed him based off of that. I had him on the list. I just didn't include him in the final 25. Um and I think I think that's it as far as the um Kayon Lee. Did we did uh Kayon Lee did was he talked about no, he committed on Monday. We had him in the mock. Uh he ends up committing on the day. Mm -hmm. Did we put out the mock on Monday or Wednesday? I forget, but um, he wasn't committed when we did the mock because we recorded it on a Sunday, uh, but he has also committed. So Kyle, that's three pickups for Ohio state this week. Um, yeah, that's uh, obviously very exciting. And all three, all three uh, helping out the defensive back room. It was a uh, wide receiver rooms. Uh, turn yeah, uh, this, this week it's uh, or last week. It's the uh, defensive back rooms turn. Yep, yep. Monday was mock. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned um, about the uh, basketball commit uh, dropping 50. Uh, that would be uh, Bryce uh, Sensiball. Yeah, he dropped yeah. 50 in the, in the kingdom league here. And uh, speaking of uh, basketball, Get to find out who Ohio State gets to match up in the Big Ten ACC matchup. And Ohio State gets to head on over to Durham with a with a Coach K less Duke team. Yep, yep. Okay, Kyle. Um that's it though. That that's the end of the episode. Uh are we counting that uh as as Kyle's corner. Uh or do you have anything else for Kyle's corner? <laughs> uh no i think i think i think that's it uh a lot a lot of i mean there's a lot of news a lot of things regarding to usc and ucla coming to the big 10 and other rumors and all that so i'm i'm sure yeah. next week we'll have more information or other rumors that may may come up here too by the way gangland in our chat says at the time of release darren lee may or may not be an osu commit um, I don't know what I, I don't remember what I said last Monday on the mock, but it's, if not, it's, yeah, it's not, if it's when I believe my personal opinion with Darren Lee, um, or excuse me, Darren Reed, I've done that a few times in my head. Um, I, apparently there's a lot of LSU smoke. Um, I'm not worried about it. Um, I, I am sticking with my Ohio state. I don't, I don't, I don't have a crystal ball obviously, but if it did, I'm, I'm sticking, I'm sticking with, uh, he announces it too tomorrow. So yeah, which is Monday in our, yep. In our, uh, sphere. So it is in our past. So I'm not going to spend any more time talking about it. Um, yep. yep. I think that's it, Jared. I, th I think we can, we can end it right there. We'll, we'll have a lot more to talk about, uh, next week. Okay. Um, I was reading, I was just busy reading the thing you DM'd me just now, Kyle. I don't yeah. believe anything that comes from an Arizona state message board. How about that? That's my response to the thing you just sent me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Monday I played playing to vapors. I love those guys. They're amazing. Um, 
playing him. I've played him a thousand times. I'll play him a thousand and one more times on top of this. Uh, so played him on Monday, playing him again on Wednesday. Uh, once again, this is playing to vapors. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, playing to vapors.